Hello and welcome back to the Tin Born. I'm Pragmatic Lee and today's video we're going to finally get around to cutting that 40 tooth uh, uh, gear, metric gear. In the last video uh, I got right up to the point of cutting the gear and had to, uh, to split this into two parts. But today we're going to actually cut the gear and see how it meshes up with the gear we're replicating, a 40 tooth uh, 1.5 module gear, metric gear. All right, hopefully I've got you set up in a position where you uh, will be able to see what's going on. The Raspberry Pi that has the uh, program running on that I just showed you on the computer, it's just off camera right here. But remember, when you see the chuck on the rotary table start to move, that'll be when I've hit the go button over here. I've set it for 40, 40 teeth. I have touched this off on this edge. So I'm going to move in two millimeter. All right, there's two millimeter. This is going to be rotating. The table is going to move this way and cut our first pass. So I'm hitting the go button. You see this rotating? All right, it has stopped. So I'm going to feed across. Alright, once it stops cutting, I'll move the table back. And obviously I don't want to move it back to where it's going to run into this. But now I'll hit the go button again. You'll see this rotate. Now what I should have done is lock that down, lock the rotary table down, which I have here this time. Let's make another pass. By the way, this cutter is exactly on height to the center of this whole plane right here. All right, I just made a pass off camera. I, I bumped my microphone, turned it off. So I've actually cut three, three teeth. We're going to tap the go button again, unlock the table, tap the go button, lock the table down and feed it across. Stop the table, reverse it. Advance by hitting the go button. Lock the table. All right, I want to hit the go one more time here. See everything rotating. Lock the table back down and cut our tooth. Now, that's this is the six tooth. We got 34 to go. 
I'm going to stop the camera for now, but I'll bring you back along uh, when we get to the end. I'll bring you back before we cut that last gear to show you that we, or last tooth to show you that we lined up in the 40 even divisions. Okay, as you see, we've got our six teeth cut so far. Uh, it's cutting good, leaving a little rag off the edge over here, a little burr, but that's just typical of the soft, soft aluminum. As I say, I'll bring you back when we get ready to, to cut the last pass here, the 40th tooth. And then I'll advance it one more time to be sure we line up with that first one we cut. If we do, we'll proceed on by advancing the y-axis on the mill, the other uh, 1.25 millimeter. Okay, we're fixing to be halfway. What I'm showing you in this clip is real time. And again, this is this is really no different than using a dividing head other than turning cranks and counting holes. We let the uh, software that we wrote and the stepper motor on the rotary table do our divisions for us. All right, I'll bring you back when we again get to the last four or five teeth. All right, I think we're down to our last four teeth now. Uh, we'll, we'll cut those four and then I'll advance it another time just to be sure that we come out with 40 even divisions. So we should go in that same slot. Once we ascertain that, I'll move Y axis in the other 1.25 millimeter and cut all the way around again. All right, this should be the last tooth. Okay, now I'm going to advance again and see if we come out in the, in the same slot. We shouldn't cut anything this time. It should just pass through cleaning up. And it did. So. Basically what that means is that our dividing head, I'm sorry, our stepper motor, the math for it is working correctly and has advanced that or has divided the 360 degrees into exactly 40 even divisions. So what I'm going to do now again is move in the other 1.25 millimeter. Unlock the table. Okay. 
and cut a couple of teeth. Then I'll move in, zoom you in so that you can see the final tooth profile. put me just a little mark right there just to get a little bit of an indication of which tooth we cut that through and then I'm going to take my uh, gauges here and that looks good Zoom you in just a little bit more there so you can see that final tooth profile. These up here, of course, are the ones that have not had the second cut made, and these have. I'm going to finish this all the way around, then I'll, I'll take the arbor out and deburr it and we'll meet back over on the workbench and do just a little bit of a recap okay here's our finished gear now deburred and it, it's a good looking gear if i do say so myself uh, this is the original 40 tooth gear if i was going to do anything different in cutting this instead of 3.25 millimeters deep I might have gone another 0.2 millimeters deeper. I'm still experimenting with the uh, the tolerance allowance uh, that I that I'm putting on the gears. I this is the first gear I ever cut right here, uh, the 20 tooth, and I got the teeth just a little bit deep on it. They mesh, but they're a little bit deep. And on this one, I got it just a little bit shallow. As you can see the flat on here, that 20 tooth. This is a little more peaked on the edge. The one we just cut is a little flatter. It could have stood to go, again, another 25 millimeter deep. But that's what I'm experimenting with. And the whole purpose of this setup was to prove that I could do an even number of divisions with a rotary table versus a uh, dividing head. And I think we proved that. Now, to be honest, this was 40 teeth here. And again, we divided 360 by 40. That said we need to go uh, nine degrees for each turn, for each tooth. And we could have done that with the handle on the rotary table. We could have used the handle and gone 9 degrees, then 18, then 27, uh, what comes next, 36, uh, 45. And by the time we got all the way around, we probably, or I probably would have missed a step somewhere in there. So letting a stepper motor do those divisions with the proper math we shouldn't have to worry about uh, missing a division or, or our degree math being wrong. But let's look at this right quick. I'm going to take this 40 tooth, the factor one, and I'm going to mark one of the teeth. And I'm going to come here and line that up and mark the other side. Now to prove that we've got an even number of divisions here, if we keep these meshed together, those two lines should come back together, and they do. Now remember, this is a 1.5 module. That means this gear we made right here will mesh with any gear, no matter the number of teeth, any gear that's the same 1.5 module. Here's the four and a half or 45 tooth and you see they still measure still mesh up together here's a 60 tooth which is one and a half 
times the number of teeth on here. So let's right quickly mark the tooth that's directly opposite or mark the space that's directly opposite. And I believe it'll be that one right there. And let's take the 60 tooth and just mark one of the teeth on it. So when we go around, we should come back up. Well, let's, let's show. Let's go around one time. Let me do this. Let me mark which one is the starting point. The T, the T mark is the starting point. So that's one time around on this one. If we come on around, we might mesh up with the other mark, which again, this is a 60, this is a 40. So we should go one and a half times to reach that. I think that's about wrap that up. Um, I did this project again to prove to myself that you could use a rotary table and get a proper even number of divisions if you turn this crank just right or you use an external device such as a uh, stepper motor and a program to, to uh, send pulses to that stepper motor. Just proving that you could do this without using the dividing head. I've enjoyed uh, this whole project doing it. I've got a lot more to learn about gears uh, and cutting gears, but for me this was a good starting point and proved a theory for me. Whether I ever have an opportunity or need to cut gears here in the tin barn again, I don't know. But if I do, I think I've got the mechanism now to do it with. Hope you guys enjoyed the videos. Take care and I'll see you on the next one.